Virginia has righted a wrong that victimized those who had already been victimized by a rapist. In a news conference today, Attorney General Mark Herring announced Virginia has cleared its backlog of untested rape kits. It took five years, but now Herring and his team can say, mission accomplished. Virginia's backlog of untested rape kits has been completely eliminated, and it's never coming back. For years, evidence collected from rape victims collected dust in police departments all over Virginia. Each kit represented a rape victim who had been silenced first by a criminal and then by a broken criminal justice system. Each of these kits represented a survivor's trauma, and each of them could have held key evidence in bringing a perpetrator to justice, but they had been pushed to the side and never dealt with. Five years later, after securing grant money, the state of Virginia joined six other states that have no untested physical evidence recovery kits. 2,665 kits were tested, 851 DNA profiles were added to a national database, and 354 DNA profiles were matched. Linwood Scott's DNA was a hit. The 68-year-old was arrested earlier this year for a rape that occurred in Norfolk 26 years ago. The victim issued an exclusive statement to AVTV10 after watching the Attorney General's remarks. She wrote, Today's news is a victory that is long time coming, and I am so thankful to Mr. Herring for his diligent work to get this backlog cleared. All of the years of looking over my shoulder and hearing a voice or smelling a smell that took me back to the night that I was raped at knife point in my own home finally will be coming to an end. Each of these kits represents someone like me. A 2016 law requires that kits are tested as soon as possible. Linwood Scott, the man arrested for that rape 26 years ago, is due in court later this month.